Hello everyone. In this beginner's tutorial, I am going to talk about a very important concept which is alright. So this is one of the pillars of OOPs also. And whenever you are learning the concepts of OOP, it's very important that you understand what is override, how to override the values. And for this particular video, we will see how we can use this concept particularly in the Python. So let's move on to VS Code and we will start by creating classes. So one class would be parent and another would be child. So in that case, we will be able to easily relate of the relationship between both these classes. So let's go ahead and create a class parent. So in this parent class, I'm going to create a variable, let's say class where, which you will have some value like I'm class variable in parent class. So let me quickly type that out. I'm class variable in parent class. Next thing we will be doing is I will be defining a constructor and as we know constructor is nothing but a function so we will use def keyword and we'll say in it we'll pass in self here followed by the colon and then we will set create some variable let's say variable dot I would just say where and here I will assign values value like I am from class uh, parent class constructor so I am from parent class constructor so these are the two things I have done next we will see uh, how can we use it but before that I want to copy this particular thing and create another class which is child and here I will just rename it okay so Till now we have done nothing fancy. We have created a parent class with a variable class where we have created its constructor which is having an instance variable where. Then we have another class child which is having a class level variable and holding some value. Now if I will go ahead and create its object. So let's say p equal to parent. And similarly I would say child and I will go ahead and say print c dot classware so what do you think what it will print over here so whenever we are saying c dot classware it means it is going to print this particular value which is stored in the child I mean which is stored in the class variable of the child class because we have not done anything we have not imposed any inheritance we have not imposed any kind of restriction now how do you uh, perform the inheritance so let's say your child wants to inherit parent so in that case you just need to pass in parent as a parameter here now if you will go ahead and run it still you can see the things are same we have not seen any kind of changes here now in order to understand what's going over here we will go ahead and make some changes so the first change would be i will go ahead and create instance variable so let's say self dot and note that i'm taking the same variable name you can take any but i would uh, prefer to explain this concept so that you will get to know that when 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 this variable is being used and when this variable is being used so this is one of our I would say instance variable and here we can assign values like we can assign a value I am an instance variable in parent class okay now quickly run this code and you can see that this time we are getting I am from the parent class so although there is a variable defined in the child class we are still able to get the output which is here now what is happening over here so whenever we are performing inheritance we are saying that get me everything from the parent but here in this particular class so till now we have not created any constructor over here. this is the main thing you should note here so there is no constructor it means whenever you are creating object of this child class 
you don't have anything to execute for uh, for a constructor so it means it will go and directly jump onto the parent class constructor so inside parent class there is a instance variable with a name class where and that's the reason this got invoked so if there is no instance variable then definitely something else would have prompted as a result so this is one of the important concept you need to make sure that whenever there is an instance variable it will be given priority over class level variable okay let's move on to next thing i'm going to create a constructor for my child class also so let's go ahead and say in it will do self and here i will probably do the same thing i will say i am an instance variable in child class so this time you will see that the output is coming from the child class so so this is the message which we are what we are getting and the reason why we are getting is because we are invoking a uh, everything using the child class object and child class has its own constructor and have and has the instance level variable with the same name so now we are not able to execute anything inside the parent because we have everything matching in our child class now let's make it little bit more complicated now what i will do is although i have defined the constructor in my child i will still go ahead and comment this out and obviously we need to write here something so i will go ahead with pass now if i'm executing this class you can see that i'm uh, you can see that the output is i am class level variable in child class now how it is happening so we have our own constructor that's a different story that we have not written anything inside that but we have our own constructor it means we are not going to refer to parents constructor and that's the reason although we have uh, instance variable in parent we are still getting the output from the variable which is at the class level of the child so whenever you are defining constructors priority will always be given to the child one it will not directly jump onto the parent class constructor irrespective of whether you have defined the instance variable in the parent or not so this is again one of the important point you should note let me reiterate it the first point which i mentioned is whenever multiple variables are defined let's say class level and the instance level the priority would always be given to the instance level and next thing i said is whenever the constructors are defined in both parent and child class you must see that parent class constructor will not be invoked until unless you are making some special provisions so in this case that's the reason we are having the output as the class level variable okay now let me uh, tell you one thing let's say i have i still want to execute this particular value or i still want to see the output of something which is defined in parent class how can we do that so you have your constructor in both the classes but still you want to invoke the constructor of the parent class and it could be any reason let's say you have some variable defined here i would say let me create a variable over here and i would say extra variable and this is the variable i want to invoke using the child class object how can i do that so one way to do is we should have some provision that we can access this particular thing now in order to access this thing what we need to do is let me uncomment this from here also okay so before that let me show you if i can execute this so whenever i am doing this particular thing you can see that we are ending up with error that child object has no attribute extra var although you have inherited it doesn't mean that you can access each and everything which is part of parent right so now how to make this particular thing work how to get rid of this error so in that case we need to change our code and we need to like inside the i would say here before its constructor what you need to do is you need to say super dot init 
and what this is doing is you are saying that before calling my constructor you can go ahead and call this particular constructor so if i'm going to do that you can see that uh init of super needs an argument okay it is supposed to be inside the constructor so i am just placing it here now if i will run this particular code we still end up with error what's wrong over here let's see oops we forgot to place the parenthesis over here and this time you can see that when i place the parenthesis uh, we got an output as extra it means using the super init you can access the items or the variables which are in your parent class so if you want to set the priority let's say you want to execute this first and then you want to go then definitely you can move this down there is no hard and fast rule so based on your requirement you can adjust this particular line but uh, the idea here is to use super with init whenever you want to invoke anything from the parent class so this is the overall concept of how you can override values in python or override the variables and the values along with the constructor changes i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching